Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x4 test tent with another unboxing video. This one is from Atrium Lighting. It is the Hydra 3200. Uh, I have reviewed one of their lights in the past. It was one of the first ones that I ever received where they uh, spaced the diodes out to the corners and tried to eliminate the hot spot in the middle. Really great idea. Everybody else kind of followed suit after that. So they're really uh, on the leading edge of technology usually. So I keep an eye on them. They came out with a two x four bar light, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking for. So here it is, check it out. We will be busting open this box in a second. You guys need to make sure that you thumbs up this video, click the links below to support the channel, but nothing else left to do but to get into it. And there we are. This is what comes in the box. Two more boxes and another light. So we got a couple more boxes to open. This thing looked a lot bigger. It came in a really big box. And I know the thing uh, folds open and whatnot, so I mean it's a folder. But uh, it was a really big box for being a folder. But I can see now there's two more boxes in here. We've got Baby Katana. Let's uh, set that one aside. We'll bust open into this one. This one's really light. Let's see what's inside this one. All right, what do we got? Accessories. All right. Sure here. Thank you for choosing Atrium. Happy, unhappy, telling you what to do. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Here is their grow light manual. We'll just go over it real quick here. Go ahead and pause if you want to read any of this. Holds this way. <laughs> Aha. Safety precautions, general care, specifications, all the accessories it comes with, everything there. And I'll put the uh, warranty information uh, in the link below. I don't see any warranty info here. And we got a hanging kit. Oh, drop that on the light. Rope ratchets. Uh, metal gear on the rope ratchets. Awesome. So you got a pair there. We got another pair here. Two pair of rope ratchets. Here's the daisy chain uh, cord, and then two standard uh, wire hanging kits. There, pretty standard power cord, and extension. I'm guessing some sort. Try to run the driver out of the tent. I'm guessing this is the driver. So let's get into this. Whoa. <laughs> I got a little crazy with that cut. The baby Katana's getting excited. Getting some serious use this video. Alright, oh yeah. Here we go. Here's the driver kit. really well I can't see how any of this would get damaged in shipping unless they really kick the crap out of it there's your dimmer let's get the the peel oh yeah everybody loves that 
there's your dimmer set up, daisy chain, power goes in the side, set it to lead or follow, and look that up in the manual. Uh, let's see, Sosin driver, model SS-320 VP-56BH. So there's the driver for you to take a look at. And it looks like you can mount it to the unit itself, or you can mount it outside. That's what this extension cord is for. I like to run it outside the tent personally, but uh, everybody has their own personal preference. Let's get this sucker hooked up and uh, see what kind of par she pushes. This is pretty sweet. We got a, uh, a bar light and a two x four. Let's get a, a closer look at the uh, fixture here, and then we'll get her hooked up. All right, had to go handheld to get some close-ups of this light. So, as you can see, they've got it a lot more dense spacing, and then it kind of spreads out as it gets to the center, which is going to help push more par to the edges where you need it, and less to the center where normally there is too much. So, really, really good setup. Got some reds, quite a few reds sprinkled in through there. I'll have to see if there's any infrared. Yeah, nice looking light. It's super, super light. Lightweight, that is. Super, super lightweight. Like, wow. You are not going to have any issues with this thing uh, collapsing your tent or causing any, any problems. This is a... Uh, a very very lightweight light very nice and it did come uh, well protected as I was saying it had uh, some uh, even some plastic covers over the diodes to make sure that there's not a single issue in shipping which is always good to see so let's get it hooked up and uh, see what she can do all right guys we are back and we've got it all hooked up as you can see pretty easy to hook up just got the wire hanging kit hooked to the rope ratchets but they do give you multiple options to hang this because some people don't like losing this space here some people have limited space so they don't like losing that so that's why they give you two sets of rope ratchets if you don't want to use these hangers you can just use the uh, two sets of rope ratchets and hook them right to the four anchor points and then you won't lose any of your height so they've thought of that really awesome and then also you can take this whole uh, assembly off of here and mount it at somewhere else so that'll save you even more height because uh, you want to leave a little bit of height above uh, for the driver uh, to dissipate some heat so this is a, a pretty cool setup as you can see i went ahead and uh, mounted it to the bars here the driver and the uh, dimmer really easy there's no screws or anything it really just kind of clips on super super easy setup love it and then you can see I kind of forgot that they had this they actually show uh, the uh, percentage there instead of having to read the dial on the side they actually show a uh, digital uh, gauge of the percentage which is pretty sweet so we're at 10 percent right now uh, let's kick on the uh, the uh, four corner par meter and as you can see, we're uh, just below uh, seedling and clone territory currently. Let's take a look at the uh, bottom side of the light. And as you saw before, there was a lot of red in the light. And you can really see that red shining through. I think this is going to have a uh, very heavily, heavily red flower spectrum, which is really good. Because flower is really where you want the magic to happen. I mean, you can really veg with just about any light. Flower is is really, really where it uh, where it counts. You can see the uh, spacing here. They're really, really tight. I almost can't even get the camera to separate the uh, lights. They're so, or the diodes. They're so uh, tight. And you get a little looser here, a little looser here really nice I dig it hell yeah 
kicks ass. And I mean, two by four bar light, come on guys, look at this. Wall to wall coverage and even coverage too. Look at that, four corner par rating, kicking ass. So let's, uh, let's go up to seedling and clone territory here. It's not gonna take much with this light. It's about right there, 17% twitching to 18 it's twitching it's twitching <laughs> so 17 18 percent 17.7 percent we'll call it maybe 17.8 <laughs> really really even really great coverage though do a center reading here real quick 170 yeah definitely really even coverage digging it super digging it I will take it. So let's go up to uh, Veg. Let's kick this sucker up. About 350 is where I like to Veg. About right there. Look at that. 350, 340, 360. That is at 48% is where we're at right now. So roughly 50%. 50% for Veg. Is where we're sitting right now. Look at those sexy bars, man. I gotta say, man, I love bar lights. The boards, they had their time in the in the sun. And now I feel like it's the bar, the bar lights time to shine, so to speak. Just killing the game, man. Killing the game. Get a center reading here real quick. 450 so about a hundred par difference from the center to the corners that's that's super good super good hopefully that translates uh, to about 200 uh, once we hit flowering so we'll see let's kick it up get to flowering let's see the base flowering here about 600 about right there so you see that 84 percent 84 percent is where we're at right now and that's going to be your base for flowering about 600 par you can flower with less than that but your buds are going to be not quite what you'd like them to be still very 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 smokable but uh not not quite as nice as what you'd like to see uh 600 to 800 is kind of uh maybe 900 is kind of the wheelhouse for most people some people can push over a thousand and do really well. Others have uh, have their struggles with that. So you just kind of have to find your uh, your sweet spot there. But anything over 600 is going to push really, really nice for you. And we're at 84%. So, I mean, hell. Oh, wait. Did we do a center reading? Let's check a center reading here real quick. Can't forget that. All right. So less than 200 par from the center to the outside to the corners that's that's really good really really good so let's just blow it open 100 percent twitching 99 99.98 percent 314 watts we're pushing right now 700 to every corner killing the game guys 700 to every corner that means you are going to get fat nuggets even in the furthest corner of the tent gotta love it you gotta love it man center reading 900 it translated directly over look at that look at that 200 difference almost exactly on the dot 200 difference from the center to the corner excellent excellent spread man <laughs> these lights just keep getting better and better i'm loving it as a reviewer it's 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 open season for me man for the most part like every light that i get i'm like yeah this thing's a badass <laughs> I, I mean some people might think uh i'm just just bullshitting but like no for real like 
all these lights that are coming out are bangers absolute bangers like the par meter doesn't lie that's why i do live par readings like i can tell you all day long and shill it up and say oh yeah this light's great oh yeah you gotta buy it you gotta check it out but if if you're looking at live par readings like you can see i'm not shilling i'm being real with you <laughs> like you can't beat live par readings for real and especially four corner par readings you got live four corner par readings Killing the game. Look at that. 900 in the middle. 900 in the middle. Killing it. Let's check the outer side there. 850. All the way around the tent. Beautiful, beautiful nuggets. Let's get it over here real quick. 666. What the hell? Oh, I think this is flopping down over here. There we go. There we go. About 680. <laughs> 666. Oof. That is one thing, too. I mean, I'm testing in a tent environment. This isn't a perfect square by any means. Uh, little things flop over here and there. There's angles. There. I mean, this is your grow environment, guys. This is where you grow. So this is where I test. And that's just the way it goes. It's what we got to deal with here. But yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and bust out the uh, spectrometer here. I'm going to switch batteries, though. My battery's just about dead, so I will be right back. All right, we've got our spectrometer here. Got it zeroed out, ready to rock. Take a reading. And wow look at that red i told you i told you look at how much red holy crap wow dude <laughs> 422 to 155 red to blue damn almost a three to one ratio usually it's two to one almost a three to one ratio far red man that is a lot of red this is definitely a flowering light they did not skimp on the red if you guys are looking for a red light man this is the one red light special right here holy crap <laughs> wow they really pumped the red on this one Look at that, a lot of warm white too. Whole lot of warm white. Man, killing the game. So let's uh, go ahead and let this warm up. It's, uh, it's fairly warm already, but really these bars just don't get that hot. I mean, you can see I'm laying my armor across here. It's just not that hot. But yeah, let's let it warm up. Uh, we'll bust out the uh, heat meter and we'll uh, wrap it up. All right, we're back. We've let this warm up for about an hour or so. Let's take a look and see what we got. Of course, we're uh, pretty warm on those ends where the uh, where the diodes are spaced super tight. So that's going to be the hot spots. Looking like 122 as the hottest. There's 123, just barely. And then the driver is sitting around 115, 116, 117. Huh, this side seems to be a little bit cooler. Interesting. One eleven. One ten, one fourteen. That's kind of weird. It's a little bit hotter on this side than it is on this side. Do the uh, the old hand test here. May have something to do with that's the uh, the point of the current. 
yeah it definitely is a little bit warmer on that other side it's a little bit warmer here this is uh, where the the current's coming from the driver so maybe it flows through here and goes that way i'm not really sure i don't build grow lights i just test them but uh it definitely is warmer on this side of the fixture than it is on that side of the fixture and then the driver oh yeah the driver's nice and cool wow they're not pushing this driver very hard at all that's nice real nice so overall i mean this is a really nice light it's built well um it's very uh, lightweight but sturdy it's not like it's gonna fall apart or nothing and uh yeah it pushes numbers man and the red that's the biggest thing about this light i think that makes it stand out i mean there's a lot of companies that are doing the diode spacing now so originally this company was kind of like on top of their game with that diode spacing but now everybody else is kind of doing that so now their thing i guess is they're pumping red 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 which is going to allow you to use a little bit less wattage to push more weight which is sweet so that's pretty killer nice light click the link below if you want to take a look at it get one for yourself uh, i'm also redoing uh, some stuff on my website so click the link to my website down below justintimetogrow.com i'm gonna have a list of all of the uh, videos and things that i've uh, reviewed broken down by company so you can find them a lot easier i've got all my discount codes on there all kinds of stuff so check out justintimetogrow.com click the links below Use the discount code, thumbs up, and until next time, guys, happy growing.